What to do when the bank closes your account? Today we will speak about a very common situation. It can happen that the bank closes your account and then it can be a disaster if you do the wrong move. You have to watch out because there can be, be many reasons. That's why I invited today a former director of UBS. He had many such situations. He was forced uh, to close accounts for clients. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. And we will ask Dario Berta. Thank you for being in Thank our you. show today and to tell us a little bit about your uh, long professional experience with Swiss bank accounts, with Swiss relationships, with international clients. So what to do if a bank closes your account? What are the most common reasons, Story? What are the most common reasons why banks... There are multiple reasons, but... There are multiple reasons. Yeah. There are thousands Thank you. of different reasons. It can be that uh, they uh, have uh, suspicious activities on the accounts, but it can be also simple that one document is missing, or often we see also uh, some misunderstandings, and then they close uh, your account. It uh, can also be that uh, the banks, they often change uh, philosophy or strategy, and they say today, we do, um, we do African clients and tomorrow they don't want to do any more African clients because uh, maybe the CEO change or the board of management is doing new decisions. But it can be also some political reason as we saw the past uh, two, two years with the war in, in Ukraine that uh, the Russian clients from very good clients in the Swiss We had banking, very good English clients, banking, very good Russian clients. Good Russian we clients. were forced you know, uh, <laughs> they were all kicked out. Yeah, they were the all banks. kicked out. It oh, is terrible, oh, terrible decision. Now, let me tell you one thing now, because now we have political movements in Switzerland about neutrality to give to the Swiss neutrality more importance. Because because of this, a lot of Russian clients were treated, have been treated unfairly, very unfairly, and it's very disappointing. Absolutely. So now we have. An, an initiative uh, coming uh, in, in, in the summer. Can yes. you speak a little bit about that? Because you are more familiar with it. You know the president of the of the commission yeah. doing the initiative. It's a uh, for of the us, yeah. which uh, they want to give back to Switzerland uh, neutrality as it was uh, before, and that it, it's uh, it will be key that the uh, Swiss population will agree to this initiative. I'm convinced that they will agree. Yes. I'm very convinced because what happened to the many Russian clients is. It's unfair. So Switzerland should not have uh, uh, should not have uh, take part to these sanctions because these sanctions destroyed a lot of business. Absolutely. And Absolutely. it's it's not uh, it's not the job of Switzerland. You know, Switzerland can be more useful if they stay neutral. And now we will have this summer an initiative. The Swiss population uh, population will go to vote, and I hope they will preserve this neutrality so we can reopen the accounts for these Russians. This yeah. was uh, uh, incredible how many Russians we received so many phone calls when they closed the account. They didn't understand the world, uh, you know, and most of these Russians, when they closed the account, what they did, they went to Turkey or they went to Dubai. And what happened in Turkey? In Turkey, I'm pretty, pretty sure that many of these Russian investors will lose a lot of money in Turkey because they work with the wrong partners, with the wrong banks, with the wrong business guys, uh, because the environment in Turkey is completely different. And we heard about that many people have lost a lot of money in Turkey, but also in Dubai. Absolutely, I agree. Important yeah. is when they close your account or the, or the bank is uh, kicking you out uh, with your commercial accounts, but also private accounts. It's not to panic. It's not to panic and uh, to really look for the best solution. And we are really specialists to, to detect and the right bank uh, to work with or several banks and several jurisdictions. We have uh, partnerships in uh, Monaco, in Dubai, we work with banks in Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, uh, Switzerland, so if somebody, course, also Austria. If something happens like that, stay calm, you have to be cool. Give us a call, write us an email, send us the documents. 
don't shout immediately. Let us analyze the situation first and find out what was the reason why they kicked you out of the bank. This is very important. There are so many reasons, you know, there are reasons because, as Dario said, suspicious activity reports because of illegal, yes. sus suspicious illegal uh, activities. This obviously can trigger uh, uh, criminal prosecution and this is very bad and we have to really sit together. By the way, this is one of my uh, specialties. I'm specialist in defreezing uh, bank accounts, frozen bank accounts, but in most of the cases there are different reason. These can be political reasons or reasons you can even not imagine yourself. You will discover this kind of reason after having spoken with the bank and we know the banks, we know the bankers, we have a very very extensive network here in Switzerland so we can find out what happened or with the official channels or through unofficial channels by uh, friends of us uh, working in the in the Swiss uh, banking industry. Yes, absolutely. And, so. and then we sit together with Dario, we analyze the situation and I'm sure we can find a solution or we can convince the bank uh, to still keep you there, you know, if there is a simple misunderstanding, yes. uh, simple confusion. This happens often when the compliance officer is changing. You know, sometimes you have a compliance officer that really understood the business and then he goes away, he takes another job, which is changing the bank and then another compliance officer comes and then what happened, he doesn't understand the business. And all these compliance officers, they are risk averse. They fear their job. So if they have to decide to keep the client or not to keep the client, of course, the safest uh, option for the compliance officer is to, to, to terminate the business relationship. Uh, Dario, maybe. Yes, absolutely. Uh, no, I, do you I have. Agree on most yeah. of your points. Important is really that you are assisted in detecting the new bank you want to work with to prepare the right K KYC, to prepare your documentation and to speak the right language with the bank. That's very important uh, for us. This is it's crucial. Really yeah. Speak the bank, uh, the, the language of the bank, of the legal department, but also to understand the bank and make with the bank also a fair deal that is uh, an interesting case for you, but also for the new bank. So important is really key that you're not panicking uh, and you are assisted by a professional... Uh Guys like us, you yes, know, correct. because uh, we know what to say at the bank, you know, even if you do, for example, uh, some diamond business or other sophisticated we activities, all, yes. you should not mention these activities if it's only a part of your, a marginal part of your business, then, because then you create confusion for nothing. So we will coach you, we will tell you exactly the story you have to tell uh, to the bank. Obviously, you have to tell the truth, but you don't have to tell everything. So this is a big difference. You don't lie, never lie to the bank, but you don't have to tell everything. And this is crucial to prepare the right documents to prepare to the for the bank, to present to the bank, you know, because here you can do a lot of mistakes and, and you eliminate all the chances uh, for an account opening. Absolutely, and so important is really a key is to have the, the right documentation and to be really at the first moment you, you uh, approach the new bank that everything is already prepared that the bank even not have to ask for new documents, that you come with the full file to the new bank and then you can also guarantee a very fast opening of the account. If not, it can take up to one or two years to open an account if you do it by yourself without professional assistance. Yeah, because you notice not every bank is the same, you know, there are banks who are specialized, so it's Absolutely. very critical which bank you choose. For example, bank, bank A, the first bank, can reject you as a client and the other bank uh, can welcome, is more than happy to do business with you. Why? Because they are specialized in this kind of business. They have tailor-made uh, compliance know-how, specific compliance know-how to cover uh, your specific business. So Absolutely. if you tell us the business you are in, we will find the bank who has the compliance uh, team understanding the background of your business. This, uh, this is crucial. As you say very right, Enzo, there are banks they like commodities, there are banks they, they, they dislike totally commodities. There are banks that are specialized in real estate or in uh, IPOs. There are banks that are uh, good in lending, single stock lending or 
lending on, on shares and bonds. So every bank is different and has another philo philosophy. There's also many banks which, uh, which, which prefer one geography. They just like clients from, from Italy very much. Mm. Uh, and other banks, uh, they are not specialized in the Italian market. And we know. It's very different. Yeah, exactly. It, it's, it's a very complicated uh, topic. Banking today. And it's also an ever-changing target. So uh, the banks are changing, of course. Yeah, you know, they don't stay the same because this is a people's business. People change. You have different Absolutely. teams. But we know that because we are in the middle of the Swiss private banking industry. Our offices at, uh, are at Paradeplatz in the middle. So we meet a lot of people. We know what happens here. That's why we are in a privileged position to help you. It's very important to speak sometimes. The CEO is leaving because he goes to pension or move to another bank. And the bank can change completely overnight. You know? Exactly. From, from a welcome client, you become someone which is not anymore welcome. Persona non grata, yes. you know, persona non grata. Thank you very much for being with us today. Information just like this you cannot find in libraries, not in bibliotheques and not in the internet. If you like more information just like this, just press the subscribe button now and ring the bell. By doing so, you ne will never miss a new video. Stay with us. If you have a question, send us an email or make us a phone call. We are here for you. We are here to find the best solution for you. Be rich and stay rich. We wish you a beautiful day.